Chapter 7. Human Body. Our body is a living machine. It has different parts that work in coordination to help us carry out various daily activities. Every living being is made up of cells. Cells are the building blocks of the body. Cells are of different types. Group of cells join together to make a tissue. A group of different tissues form an organ. There are various organs in our body. A group of organs working together to carry out one major function of the body is known as a system. Human body comprises the skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, respiratory system, digestive system, circulatory system, excretory system and reproductive system. Skeletal system. Our body is made up of 206 bones. All these bones make a framework. The bony framework of our body is called the skeletal system. It gives shape and support to the body. It also protects the internal organs of the body. The skull protects the brain, the ribs protect the heart and the lungs. The spine or the backbone holds up the neck and the head. Muscular system. There are around 600 muscles in the human body. All our muscles together form the muscular system. The main function of the muscular system is to help in the movement of the body. Circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of the heart, blood and blood vessels. The function of the circulatory system is to transport oxygen and nutrients to different parts of the body and also to carry away wastes from the body. Blood vessels carry blood from the heart to different parts of the body and then back to the heart. Respiratory system. The system that deals with breathing is called respiratory system. It consists of nose, windpipe and lungs. When we breathe in, air enters through our nose. It goes into the windpipe and then finally into the lungs. The lungs absorb oxygen from the air we breathe in. This oxygen burns the food, purifies the blood and gives energy and carbon dioxide. When we breathe out, carbon dioxide goes out from the lungs. Digestive system. Digestion is the process of changing the food into simpler form, so that it can be easily absorbed by the body. Digestive system deals with the digestion of food. It consists of mouth, food pipe, stomach, large and small intestines and anus. The process of digestion begins in the mouth. Here the food is mixed with the saliva. It then goes to the stomach through the food pipe. The digestive juices of the stomach mix with the food, and then it goes into the small intestine where the food is further digested. The useful part of the food is absorbed by the blood. The rest food that cannot be digested by our body goes into the large intestine, and finally thrown out of the body through anus. Nervous system. Nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord and nerves. It controls all other systems of the body. The brain is the main organ of the nervous system. The brain is linked to every part of the body through the spinal cord and nerves. If you want to pick up a glass of water, Immediately the nerves send a message to the brain and simultaneously, the brain orders the hand to pick up the glass. Excretory system. Excretion is the process of removal of all wastes from the body. Excretory system consists of the lungs, kidneys and skin. Kidneys are the main excretory organs. They help to throw out urine. Our skin helps to eliminate sweat and lungs give out carbon dioxide. Reproductive system. The reproductive system helps to produce young ones. In the process of reproduction, a living organism creates a likeness of itself. The process may be either asexual that an organism reproduces by itself alone, or sexual, which requires both male and female sex cells. Genes are the basic units that transmit a species characteristics to the next generation. Genes are composed of DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid. Most DNA is located in the cell nucleus but a small amount of DNA can also be found in the mitochondria.